After you finish hanging the duct and you come to the end of the run, it's necessary to put an end cap in. This is a 12 by 8 duct. The end cap is going to be one board thickness longer in both dimensions than inside duct dimensions. So you can see that this is going to be 13 and a half by nine and a half for our end cap. I've taken advantage of, of having drop off when we've grooved duct with the uh, grooving machine. And I've run this board through the grooving machine to cut it down to nine and a half inches. You can see. And so the first thing I'm going to do is cut off this end of the board. I'm going to come over here 13 and a half inches. That's the 12 inches plus an inch and a half. Do that. I now have my end cap that fits into the end of the duct. Push that into place. And now we tape. Since I don't have any stapling flaps on, on this end cap, it's necessary for me to use tape tabs. Remember that tape tabs go 12 inches on center, at least one per side, and the tape tabs are about eight inches long. I'll put those in. Then once the tape tabs are in, I now put my tape on to finish the, the joint. In doing this, I want to try to maintain at least one inch of tape below the uh, level of the board so that there's at least one inch of tape on the facing. Come up, overlap the tape about four inches. We'll rub it down a little bit right now, and then I'll finish. I like to use my squeegee to help me roll the tape over. Uh, sometimes you can, you can get cut if you try to use your hand to smooth the tape down. finish the edges and we now have our finished duct with the end cap in.